Hi everyone, welcome back to Talk That Talk. Today we have a few things to catch up on. Now, a congratulations is in order for Cardi B. She is going diamond for the third time, okay? So her song, I Like It, featuring Bad Bunny, and there's somebody else on that song, but that song was a really, really big song. That song was huge. And that song went diamond. And apparently, she's the first female rapper to have three diamond singles. So Cardi B is really, really excited. She's saying that she has more exciting things coming. You know, her Invasion of Privacy album did really well. That came out a while ago. Um, She really is due for a new album. I don't know what she's waiting for, but I really, I don't like how Cardi takes these long breaks. Like, I know she's having babies and she's, you know, being a mom and stuff like that. But, I mean, the record, um, Up and Is Stuck, whatever that song was called, Like, it's been a minute since that song came out. She just did the project with Holly Berry or whatever. But it's like, you know, I would just rather have, like, consistent, like, singles come out or consistent features and then the album. And you know what I mean? Like, because her hype is really going to die down. Like, the more she keeps taking these breaks in between things. Like, I feel like when she was doing those songs with Bruno Mars... She should have had another album out like or, you know, we we should have got another album shortly after that because she was just kind of taken off like at that time. But that's when she had the baby and stuff like that. But um, congratulations to Cardi B. She is doing amazing right now with her music. And, you know, she's really come a long way. So shout out to her. Now, the next person we're going to congratulate it's SZA. So SZA released the song I Hate You because her fans kept requesting it. She didn't have any promotion on this song or a video and it actually is number seven on Billboard right now. So it did really, really well with no push behind it. Just her literally listening to her fans. Now, I've said this before about SZA. We need the album. We need the album. Okay. I love SZA's music. We need a new album from her. Every time she hops on somebody's song, it's great. I mean, she was on the um, the No Love song with Summer Walker. That song's amazing. It's just she was with, on the song with Doja Cat. That song did great. So it's just like SZA, like, let's go. Where is the new album? Where's your album? Because it would do great. Like, we're patiently waiting. But this is what I mean. I don't like when, like, artists take mad long to release their solo projects. You know what I mean? So... Anyway, now we do have to address Sweetie. Sweetie is constantly, I feel like she's constantly getting bashed online. So Sweetie did a performance. We all know Sweetie needs work on her performances. Um, She was releasing like behind the scene footage of her practicing her dance routine with her backup dancers and stuff like that. She did a performance and she was shaking her behind and the girls were saying that her butt was not moving. She got concrete in her BBL. She needs to return that BBL because her butt doesn't jiggle or anything like that. A lot of people are saying, you know, sweetie was, you know, she's very pretty and she didn't even need the BBL. You know what I mean? I I agree with that as well. She didn't need that. But, you know, the industry definitely probably pressures you to have this crazy hourglass figure. You know, I guess it, it just becomes a part of the package. You get the fake boobs and you get the butt. But a lot of people are bashing Sweetie because this little dance, this little eight count dance number just was not hitting. And people are saying, you know, she looked crazy out there. I just hope she pulls it together with this performance thing or she just stops doing the dance routines with her music. You know, like just go on stage and do a little bop, a little two step or whatever. Like, you know, it doesn't have to be a full a choreography because she can't handle it she can't do the the breath control is not there she just she just gotta do what she can and make it look cute with what she can do at this point because i know she went to like this um performance little camp kind of thing and it's still not where it should be yet so i think she just needs to like have simpler routines simpler performances where she could just focus on you know saying the lyrics okay now Lastly, we're going to talk about Chloe Bailey. So Chloe did an interview with Charlemagne the God and she addressed that 
really cringy lollipop video. <laughs> that video was so cringy. Oh my gosh. It was, it was disturbing for like, you know, Instagram to resurface that video because she did delete it. So she talked about why she deleted that video. And she basically said that she's finding herself, you know, just like what a lot of people have said about Chloe. She is finding herself. She is figuring herself out. But honestly, like it's just playing out in front of the whole world. And I just think that Chloe Bailey is naturally talented. She has a um, natural prettiness to her and she does have sex appeal to her that that at some point comes naturally but I think she just does a little too much like she pushes it too much I think if she just stayed chill like you know she'd be fine but I don't know that video was super super cringe and Chloe is just like y'all give me a break I'm just trying to find myself I'm still young I'm trying to figure out where I fit in you know, within my own self. So we're going to take it easy on her. Before we go, I do want to lightly touch on this because it is out there that Cardi B is allegedly having a fake Instagram account that bashes Nicki Minaj. That's like comes for Nicki. There's a whole thing. There's a whole thread on Twitter about this. Cardi B even, um, tried to address this or whatever. She's had communications with this Instagram page and, She's basically trying to say, you know, she's not affiliated with them. She doesn't she doesn't bash Nicki Minaj. And now there's tweets resurfacing from Cardi B saying that she loves to stalk the people that hate her and have beef with her. So it's, it, people are saying that Cardi is stalking Nicki Minaj. Like people are saying that. What do you guys think about that? Comment down below. Have you seen the, tw the Twitter threads on this and the talk about this? Comment what you think down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.